23 twists later and when I tell you I am grateful to God that he gave me low density hair, I am so glad that I do not have thick hair. So when you're preparing for a long term protective style, a few things are very important. You want to make sure you wash your hair and make it as clean as you can. If you want to do clarifying, go for clarifying. If you want to do a clay mask, that's also very cleansing as well. Next, you want to deep condition your hair. Now, what I did, and I'm not sure if I would have the backing of professionals but I did a protein treatment for 15 minutes then I did a moisturizing deep conditioner for 10 so the protein strengthens the hair and the moisturizing deep conditioner hydrates the hair and I felt my hair was excited and ready for the protection style and then finally you want to stretch your hair so you can do this any method you want I prefer not to do it with a blow dryer so I plaited my hair up and I sat under the dryer for about 20 minutes until it dried and to my surprise my hair actually wasn't really dry and <laughs> so I basically tied my scarf for the rest of the day and by this morning when it was time to install my protective style my hair was basically ready to go it wasn't dry but it was very moisturized it was a feeling that I felt comfortable with and I know now that my hair is basically set for the next couple of weeks because I have fine hair and also very low density it was important for me to choose a style that wouldn't add weight or tension so I went with twists uh, twists with extension hair and specifically with the kinky or marley textured hair which is very light had i made these longer i still would not feel the weight it feels so light on my head and it's not tight i love this style it's only 23 twists so even if my scalp decides that it doesn't want to wait you know a month before getting washed again i could easily take these down and reinstall them i didn't do any cutting so if i just undo them just as i install them they will be reusable so very easy style two hours that's nothing another big tip is when you are parting your hair to install the twist or the braid whatever you decide it is so important that you part your hair where it comfortably sits because if I one time during my installation process I had hair up here that was attached to hair back here and so when I tried to braid the hair back here I felt this pulling and so that was an indication to me that there's a, a strand that doesn't belong in that region of my head so I need to make sure to part your hair according to the region that it's in so that it is comfortably sitting I didn't braid it tight but I did want it to be taut enough where it could last at least you know the first week my hair is gonna frizz up very quickly because I did not put my hair in tight I didn't use any jams or edge control I'm totally fine with the way that my hair will evolve over time so you know but just be careful with how you are sectioning your hair so you're not pulling at the root <sighs> what was so surprising to me though was how much my wash and go is so simple this pales in comparison to how easy, how low manipulative a wash and go regimen is. Now granted, if you're hearing it for the first time, you're like every four days you're washing your hair and that may seem very busy, but when I tell you between the two times a week that I'm washing my hair, it does not take me long as it did today. So roughly a wash and go regimen takes me about two hours. And that's including setting the hair and drying it. But this took two days. And that's because I chose to wash and stretch my hair yesterday and then install the hairstyle today, mainly just to prevent fatigue and laziness because if I gotta wash my hair, stretch it, and then do the twist itself, it's, it's just a lot for a person, especially if you're not used to doing that kind of regimen. So I didn't wanna set myself up for failure, but I realized no wonder my hair thrives, it retains length when I'm in a wash and go regimen because it literally does not take all that it's take, it took to get me to braid the hair, uh, section it, stretch it, and so on. So it's not to say that this protective style isn't gonna help me retain length, but when I talk about the effort and time it takes to install and process and all that, the wash and go is a walk in the park.